Welcome to Educate Cayman, I'm Bradley. So you want to learn about accents. There are 7,000 different languages in the world, so theoretically, there should be 7,000 different accents for the English language. Now what I mean by this is, imagine if everybody spoke their native tongue as well as English. They should be speaking English in some sort of accent. Now I know some accents might sound the same, but this is just a rough estimate. And this doesn't even include the countries that speak English with an accent already. So does that mean that other languages have accents? What would happen if an American Southerner tried to speak Spanish? Hola! Como esta? Muy bien, gracias, y tú? Yo soy de nada. I don't know what that means. Yo soy de nada. Well, that answers that question. I guess you could assume that people do that for different languages. Moving on, how did Cayman get its accent? Well, for that, you'd have to go to the late 1600s and early 1700s when Cayman got its first settlers. Now, these people came from all walks of life. Some were slaves, some were white British descendants that migrated from Jamaica, and some were even buccaneers looking for a quieter life. Pirates. Now you had all these people on this little island and they each had their own accent. These people started families and it was this giant melting pot of different cultures socializing that helped form the Caymanian accent that we know today. I've heard kids pick up accents easier than adults. And this is because their brains are like sponges, soaking up information. And when socializing, changing their accent to fit in with everybody else. It still happens today. Has this ever happened to you? I'm hungry. Yo. You know too, I could yo. go for? Some fried chicken. The oxtail gravy and like a big plate of rice and beans. That's like all I. Hold on, I got one. Well, go on, baby. What's the road you know, you know? Baby, this link me back around three. Yeah, three o'clock. All right, cool. So what are you saying? That has really happened to me in real life. Environments help to shape accents as well. As more people moved to the island, more people started branching out further into the island, creating the districts that we know today. But back then, there weren't any paved roads or cars that could take you from point A to point B quickly enough, thus creating slight isolation between the districts. And this slight isolation with the districts could help account for the slight variations in the accent that we hear today. I really wish I could create a time machine so I could go back in time to the first Caymanian settlers so I could hear what they sounded like. It would be inaccurate for us to imagine the British descendants with the British accent because the British accent that we know today didn't even exist in the 1600s. Their accent developed and evolved over time due to different cultures and different countries' influences just like our own. Over 100 different nationalities live on island right now, so who knows? 500 years from now, Caymanians might not even sound like Caymanians. So if you have an accent, that's cool. It can help you identify with your heritage. But if you could change your accent at the drop of a hat, that's even cooler. Thanks for watching this episode of Educate Cayman. If you have any ideas for future episodes, please leave a comment in the comment section or shoot me an email at educatecayman345 at gmail.com. If you liked the video, please hit the like button, hit subscribe, and stay tuned for more Educate Cayman videos.